evening celebration. Hallelujah. We hope everyone's doing good tonight. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to give you a few moments to get signed in here. Hallelujah. Amen. We just ask that you'd hit the your share button as you're coming on, and that way others know that we're live and we're meeting together and going to worship the Lord. I tell you what, the Lord is good. His mercies endure forever. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's good to see y'all in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. God good to bless see you. you. Good to see you. Hey, Brianna. Hey, hey Brianna. Sherry. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Allison. <coughs> good to see you. We love you and miss you too, Brianna. God bless you. God bless y'all. It's good to see y'all together to see tonight. You tonight. Amen. Hey, hey, Lenny, Lenny and Sunil, Sunil and Kira, Kira good Joshua. to see y'all. Congratulations to Joshua. Oh, yes. We are so happy and yes, so proud of you. Yes, we are. Amen. Wow. Wow, that's awesome, Joshua. He has got his dream being a <coughs> nine one one. He got his card. He got his card. Wow. wow. We are so excited. That's amazing. Hallelujah. We're excited with Howdy, you. Howdy, Paul. Howdy, Sue. Good to see y'all. Good to Howdy, see y'all. Christina, hey, Sue. Larry. Christina, Larry, Nina, Norm, Mita. Norm, so good to see you. Bob and Della. Bob and Della. Jean, so good to see so you. So good, good to see, see y'all tonight. God bless you. Amen. Lonnie and Tammy. Hey, Lonnie. Hey, Tammy. Jessica. Hey, good Jessica. Good to see you. God bless y'all. Uh, we hope everyone's having a good evening. Amen. Amen. Whoa, what's some beautiful weather we've had. Just wow. <laughs> I tell you wow, what, let's break out the uh, shorts and uh, flip-flops. <laughs> I'm ready for summer. I'm telling you. Well, at least spring. Uh, let's do spring first. <laughs> yeah, we can do spring first, let's and then we'll go to summer. Let's do spring first. That would be, that, that sounds great. <laughs> well, I was just Amen. wanting to bypass all the leaves coming out. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Hey, Donna, God bless you. God bless you. How's everybody? So good to see you tonight. Oh, so good to see y'all. Everybody, Thank if you'll you hit your, your share buttons. Your share button. and Amen. Brenda V, good to see you. God I, bless you, sister. I know she's got that shofar got handy. Got that shofar. Her Christina. and Christina, yeah. they both have got their shofar. Oh, Praise hallelujah. God. Keep them warmed up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, Kira. God bless you, sweetheart. So good to see you tonight. So good to be with everyone we love tonight. Y'all so much. Amen. So, amen. So much. Amen. Just welcome to the service. Thank you for for sharing and thank y'all for just greeting one another and yes, just being a part of this service here this February twenty fourth, twenty fourth Wednesday night. February is about gone. It's about gone here in Morganton, North Carolina, at Celebration Family Worship Center for this online service that we're having tonight. And we know that the Lord is here in our he midst, is. and He has beautiful things for us this evening. Amen. Amen. So amen. Thank you for being a part. If it's your very first time to ever be at Celebration, we encourage you to be a part of our Facebook page, to be a part of the ministries that we offer right here as a church family on our Facebook page, discipleship class, women's ministry class, men's ministry, youth ministry, children's ministry. Yes. Uh, just please go on there. Uh, health and uh, emotional health and just a, a total spiritual health class that Lenny offers. You want to be a part of that class Amen. as well. I just promise you, you'll be so blessed by each and one, each and every one of the classes that are offered at Celebration. Yes, you will. They're just a beautiful family. And I can just tell you that anything you hear from them, they're just going to point you to the Lord. Amen. They're going to point you to the Lord. Amen. Because that's, that's what we're all about. Our, our, our lives on this earth is fulfilling His assignments, what He has for us to do down here, but it's all for the honor and the glory of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Good evening, Oprah. Hey, Mark. God bless you. Hey, Wes. Frankly. <laughs> so it's good, good to see you. Good to see We're you. We're glad you're with us tonight. Amen. Amen, Aunt Linda. Good to hey, see Aunt Linda, you. Hey, Aunt Linda. Good to so see good you. Good to see you. But also, we, uh, Laura, good to see you. Hey, good Alan. Good to see you and Alan and Allison. 
God bless y'all. We um, also are continuing to do our tithes and offerings. Many of you are doing those online as it is a, a safe, one of the safe and secure ways to give on our Easy Tithe app that's just right there at the bottom of our Facebook right. page. Others prefer to mail it in to Celebration Family Worship Center at P.O. Box 20, 58 Morganton, North Carolina, 28680. And my honey, Pastor Rocky, will pray over those at the end of service. But we're just so happy that you're here uh, yes, with us. We I'm are Pastor so Benji, glad to be. and we're just this my glad sweet, to Pastor be Benji with you. And I'm Pastor Rocky. Amen. He's going to open up, us up with some scripture. Hey, Amen. Tammy, God bless you. God bless you. I hope your niece also is just continuing to do well. We just pray for her and just are believing God for wonderful things for her. Amen. In Genesis chapter number 21, verse 22, Amen. it says that God yes. is with thee in all that thou doest. Amen. In Isaiah 30 and 19, it says that the voice of thy cry when he shall call, he will answer thee. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to the Lord Amen. in prayer right now. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Yes, God. It's the day that you've the made. Lord has made. And we rejoice, rejoice and, we're and we're glad in it. We thank you, Lord, that Lord, spring is on the horizon. And Lord Jesus, we look forward to when we're able to be back together in services Amen. here soon. Amen. We and Father, we know that's on the horizon. Prayer, Father Lord God. Jesus, you're moving by the power of your Holy Ghost. Sooner and sooner. Yes. In the name and we of just Jesus, ask in this service declare. tonight Amen. that the name of Jesus is lifted up. Lifted up you're exalted and you're glorified yes. because you said that if you're lifted up, that you'll draw all, all men, women, all and children Amen. unto yourself. Yes. So Lord, we thank you that you've sent your Holy Spirit. Yes. He's with us. He abides with us, lives within us. And we ask that this night, Holy Ghost, for the Holy Spirit. Yes. We pray people are saved. Yes. Bodies are healed. Yes. Yokes are lifted. Burdens are removed. Are removed. But above everything, the name of Jesus is lifted up and exalted. exalted. Yes. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask this. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Amen. Well, Brenda, I know you and Christina have y'all shofars, and we'll get this one going. That Brian, let me get it opened up. <laughs> the one that Brian has sent that we use. But hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Absolutely. And it's coming. Thank you, yes, it Jesus. Is. Thank you, Lord.
sorrows I'm trading Every praise, every praise. 
your name. Wondrous are your ways, majesty and of our holy God and we just thank you Lord God and we declare how wondrous yes, are your ways they are, Father God you go above and, and beyond all that we you. can ask and all that yes, we can Lord. think Lord God yes and we just thank you Jesus <coughs> we thank you and for we that. honor you we, honor we give you, you such glory and, glory and such honor amen you alone are worthy amen. hallelujah hey Dole and Sandy hey Dole hey Sandy amen Christina so good to yes I agree we so love that song as well it is such a beautiful beautiful Lord, song the Lord so is holy amen yes amen he is so hallelujah. holy we just thank him and it's just good to worship together Amen. And I can't wait to hear all of our voices together. Hallelujah. As I can't wait. We've just been sharing. We just are rejoicing. We are just continuing to rejoice at the reports that we are hearing and just how God is answering Amen. all of our prayers. We have all, all been praying. Yes. And so it's like just being able to see that light at the end of the tunnel of when we're going to come together in a physical sense. Yeah. We've been coming together, but you know, we're looking forward yeah. to being able to do that. So Amen. I just, I Amen. speak blessings on you, my beautiful celebration family. I'm just so happy to be with you uh, this wonderful Wednesday yes. evening, just as my husband was sharing earlier. It's just been such beautiful, beautiful day. Wow. Just have loved beautiful it. Beautiful day. But anyhow, on Sunday, I shared an exhortation uh, called it, it, it was entitled, His Hope versus the world's wishing and we've been in a study on God's love out of first Corinthians chapter 13 and in these last few services uh, well I guess especially since last Wednesday night we've specifically looked at verse 13 which says and three things remain faith hope and love yet the greatest of these is love so last Wednesday night we looked at the faith part of that verse and how that impacts our love walks because what we've been talking about is this love walk that we're that the Lord has agape love in us and when we looked at faith through the Hebrew de definition and the word faith in Hebrew that that faith it makes us steadfast established stable and steady yes and so wow when we hear that his faith 
When his faith is operating in our lives, as his love is flowing in our lives, it makes us steadfast, established, stable, and steady. And these are definite qualities that we need in our love walks as his love nourishes mm -hmm. this faith inside of us. Then on Sunday, we looked at the hope part of that verse. Faith, hope, but the greatest is love. And so we saw on Sunday that this hope, this gift of God that's in our life, and it's rightfully in our life, it is part of a majestic anchoring system that Jesus, our forerunner, has secured for us. And we saw that it's not likened to an anchor that goes down. No, you and I have an anchor system that is heavenward. Amen. The anchor that is holding on to us is right there anchored to the mercy seat in the heavenly realm. And that's according Amen. to Hebrews 6, verses 19 and 20, which says, We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where Jesus, who went before us, has entered on our behalf. He has become a high priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. So church, this hope that we're talking about tonight, it is rightfully ours. Yes, and it it's is. come through an oath and a promise of God according to Hebrews chapter 6 verse 17 and 18. And that's where it clearly states that it is impossible, impossible for God to lie. And so that's what makes this hope so secure in our yes. lives. It's just that it it's been made by the oath and that's the right. promise of God that that's cannot right. lie. And that's Amen. what makes also, so it's, it's, it makes this oath of hope and this rope of hope so strong and secure in our lives as it secures us heavenward. But it's also what makes this hope that God gives us such a threat to the enemy. It and is. this is why the enemy... He targets, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but he will literally target your hope. The enemy will throw every kind of lie he can think of to try to bring down the hope that God has for you and the hope that God has for me. Yes. But we cannot, we must not receive the lies of the enemy concerning this gift of hope or faith for that matter that God has provided for us. We saw that on Sunday throughout the scripture, you're going to see faith and hope. These two gifts, they're temporary gifts, but they're gifts we need while we're here on this earth. Right. Love, we've seen, is the greatest, and it's called the greatest because it's the eternal gift. But faith and hope, which are gifts from God that he allows to be in our lives while we're in this earth, they flow together. You'll find so many scriptures where you literally see them linked together. We don't just have faith in faith or hope in hope. No, God through his love, he activates our faith and our hope and he joins them together to do beautiful things in our lives. Yes, These are beautiful gifts that bring beautiful things from God to our lives. And so no wonder, it's just no wonder that our love walks are such a vital part of of our Christian journey and that these two gifts of faith and hope are so integral to it. And so, you know, since I shared on hope on Sunday, I just thought, well, okay, I did faith last Wednesday night. I shared on hope this Sunday. I, I, I shared in the leading of what I felt the Lord wanted me to do. So I thought, okay, I'd be going on to something a little different tonight. But the Lord said, no, I want you to stay in the vein of this hope a little longer. I want you to stay here. And so this night I've entitled this exhortation, More of Your Hope, Lord. More of Your Hope. Yes. And so we're talking about this precious gift here. This gift of hope. This gift that's literally an anchor for our souls. And it's the gift that keeps us steady so that we're not moved even though the world is moved. You see, when we've got that anchor to the mercy seat, it yep. holds us secure. The fact that it is impossible for God to lie. Amen. That's, that's what that's makes it. this gift so powerful in our life. And it's that foundation of certainty that we can have for our loved ones. It's this hope 
that gives us confidence knowing he's going to respond and he's going to come through for us. And I just pray tonight that our eyes are open to see that. We see, whenever we looked at the definition of hope on Sunday through the Webster definition, we saw that it has a lot to do with wishing for things. And it all needs to be founded on the strength of man. But right. when we're looking at hope through the definition of the Bible, God's definition, we see that it is always linked to the strength of God. And the promise and oath of God that he can't lie. And that's, that's where right. the impact that's right. is. Amen. That's where the security of this hope yes. is. It's because it's God's, God's strength, strength that provides it. And so yep. we've looked at what hope is on Sunday. And tonight I just want to go a little further. And I want to look at why is hope so important in our lives as believers. And so briefly, if you'll just go with me to Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Let's look at that. Romans chapter 15, verse 13. I actually closed with this verse on Sunday. And the Lord said, I want you to open with it tonight. And this is what it says. May the God of hope. I just love the way it opens Mom. right there. Yes. God is literally identified in this way. He's saying, I'm the God of hope. May the God of hope. Fill you, fill me with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you and that I may overflow with hope by the power oh, come on. of the Holy Spirit. Yes. I thank you, Lord Jesus, that the hope we're talking about tonight as we're continuing to talk about it, that we are seeing more and more clearly, Lord, that it's not yes. strengthened by man. Yes. It is strengthened by the Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. It's a hope that you have given. Mm. And that you are the forerunner in. Yes. And that you have gained for us. Yes. And that you have now anchored our anchor Ooh, into Lord. that mercy seat with this yes, rope Lord. of hope based on your oath. Yes. And your promises yes, to Lord. us. Yes, Lord. Amen. And so, Father, this evening, mm. may that only become further established yes. in our hearts and in our lives. Yes, Lord. As we, Father, endeavor to walk in your love in a greater and greater way every single day. Yes. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. So why is this hope so important for our lives? It's literally what motivates us. It motivates so much of what we do when we, as believers, I mean, when you think about it. There's so many parts of our walk with the Lord that are based on hope. Mm. And it's not only hope for what happens here on this life, but it's hope that has eternal value. Yes. Amen? Amen. You see, like when we offer a prayer to the Lord, we've got hope. Yes, we do. In our hearts, knowing that he's going to answer yes. our prayer. Now, it may not always come in the way or the time that we've prayed it. But we've got to have hope that the Lord is hearing and he's answering our prayers. When we witness to people, why do we do that? We have a hope yes. that they're going to hear and they're going to receive the word yes, of God. They're going to receive the Lord for themselves so that they can receive his plan yes. for their lives. Why do we endure hardships, trials, persecution? It's not because... You know, they go on and on and on and on and on because one thing you can be assured of in this life is, yes, there's seed time and harvest, but also yes. there's another thing. Storms do not come to last. That's right. They might last a long time, but storms have to pass. That's right. They cannot stay they can. forever. And yet, in a storm, we can have the hope that we've been talking about That's tonight that... God's got us. He's already cleared the way to the Amen. other side. <coughs> so we know that the storm is going to pass, and there's that hope. Yes. So again, we see this hope to, that just is activated in our lives. Amen. And it's a hope that we walk in, and it's vitally important to us. It's important to our joy. It's important to our enthusiasm, our peace, our focus, our motivation for all that we do as Christians. And this is why. Even though we have gone through all these months of a storm, there's definitely right. been a storm, 
We continue to say, because the Lord continues to say, do not lose hope. That's right. Amen. Don't lose hope. The Lord is saying, I am faithful to you and I won't let you down. And according to Romans 15, 13 that we just read, he's the God of hope. Yes, he is. He is the very source of this needful gift that we have. And this is what he says, let me fill you. Let me fill you with the benefits that come from walking in my hope. So our part is to open up and to receive it. Yes, it is. We have to open up and we have to receive his hope. And you know, sometimes, even without us realizing it, we can literally shut down the flow of God's hope in our lives when God doesn't answer our prayers in the way or in the timing that we thought he would. You know, because along with this, I've been sharing with you that I believe the Lord from what he's shared with me by his spirit. He desires that we have a healthy spiritual circulatory system. That's right. So that love is likened to the heart. The way the heart pumps the blood in the body, his love is pumping to our faith walks that are joined to our hope walks. But sometimes they can become scarred if you, if you... Receive the lie of the enemy. That's right. Whenever prayers aren't answered in the exact way that you think they the are. The way and the time. The way and the time. But God says, Now may the now. God of hope fill you with all joy yes. and peace in believing Come on. that you may abound Come on. in hope yes. by the power of of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So there are so many benefits that are attached to that one verse. It's no wonder the enemy tries to come against our hope. And it definitely starts with us being filled. Right. Being filled, filled with this hope. God wants to fill us with joy and peace in our believing. And for that purpose, he wants us to then become those who abound Abound in hope hope. so that we're able to share it. And he said, I want you to speak to those tonight who feel as though they may have scar tissue. And that's how he put it to me. Scar tissue blocking the way of hope flowing in your heart, in your life, in the way that God desires. He says he wants to remove it He wants to restore a total flow of his hope in your heart, in my heart, even this night. And he says, I'm going to heal some hope vows tonight. So in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I thank you, God. I'm not doing this, Father. It's you. It's the promise of your word. It's your oath. It's your promise. And Father, I declare for anyone that is going through a battle with hope. Yes. Jesus, it's opened up and they're able to receive this hope and it's going to flow in their lives in a powerful way. Now, one way you're going to know that you've received a way that we virtually show that we've received the hope of God is when we receive one another. That's right. I want you to think about this. We're not called to pick each other apart. That's a fact. That's not your calling and that's not our calling. No, it's not. He's not called us to do that. That isn't what the Lord did with us. Nope. And the love he's asking all of us to walk in doesn't go around picking each other apart, but we receive each other. Yes. We receive each other. The Lord, he didn't choose just to hone in on our faults and just pick away at them. Thank God he's merciful. Yes, he is. Thank God he's full of love, and he reached out with love to us, and he wants us to do this. He forgives. He restores. Yes. He covers. Yes. Well, how about us doing that as well? Amen. And how about us? Just being ones that can see good and welcoming, welcoming people into our hearts, right? welcoming as the Lord welcomed us. That is a way that we are able Amen. to see that his love is flowing in us, this gift of love, and this hope is flowing in us. We got to open up. We got to receive right. it. We got to open up. We got to receive it. His hope actually strengthens the common bond of unity. Yes, it does. That the Lord desires for you and I to walk in as his people. 
And I pray that it's not any surprise to you this evening that the Lord has some blessings. Yes, just some does. literally blessings that He wants to give to you and to me through the power of hope. And I just want to briefly look at a few of those tonight. The first one is the hope of God's provision. We mm. find his promise concerning this over in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. You're going to want to write these scriptures down, and then you go back, and you study them out further, and you say, Lord, this is a blessing you have for me, and this is what it says. And my God will meet all your needs Come on. according to the riches of his glory. In Christ Jesus. Yes. He wants to provide for us the God yes. of hope. Another blessing of this hope is the hope of his presence. In Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 it says, Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes on with you. Yes. He will yes. never Leave, never you. leave you. He will never forsake you. Come on. The next one is the hope of God's protection. Come on. God's protecting us, church. His word says, You are my refuge and my shield. <coughs> I Amen. have put my hope in your word. Yes. And that's from Psalm 119, verse 114. Psalm 119, verse 114. Also, in Psalm 27, verse 1 and 5, it says, For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe. We're talking about Come God's on. protection yes. here. He will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set yes. me high upon high a above. rock. Amen. Then, of course, here's another one. He gives us the hope of eternal life. Glory to Come God. On. We see this in Titus chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. And it says, Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, to further the faith of God's elect and their oh, knowledge yes. of the truth that leads to godliness mm. in the hope of eternal life in which God, who does not lie, Come on, there it promised is before the beginning of time. You just said it, babe. Here again, it's declaring. Declaring. God cannot lie. That's right. It is impossible, impossible for him to lie. Him. So this hope we're talking about tonight, this faith yes. we're talking about yes. tonight, this love we're talking about tonight, it doesn't rely on any man. It is set and secure. It's set. In the Lord God Almighty. Come on. And then there's one I know that we've all been crying mm. out. It's the hope of Christ's return. Yes. And as the bride of Christ, I know that this is the longing of our heart. And it also is spoken of in the book of Titus, chapter 2, this time verses 11 through 13. And this is what it says. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to um, ungodliness and worldly pos yes. uh, passions. Amen. And to live lives self-controlled, upright, mm -hmm. godly lives in this present age. Yes. While we wait for the blessed Hallelujah. hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is the hope of Christ's return. Yes, it is. And Amen. I know we've all been crying out, Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Amen. Because we have this hope of His soon return. Yes. Then there's the hope of His inheritance. Hallelujah. This one is found over in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. And it says, Praise be to God and our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, and in his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living into hope. Into a living hope. A living, living hope, hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that will never perish. Yes. Never spoil. Yes. Never fade. Come on. This inheritance is kept in heaven 
for you and for me. Come on. That is absolutely yes. beautiful. It is. We have a hope of inheritance. Yes, we do. Amen. And then in closing tonight, I want us to mm. look at another one that we all dearly love. And it's the hope of answered prayer. Come we on. talked about those prayers earlier and how the enemy likes to come in. And when prayers aren't answered in the timing and in the way that we desired, uh -huh. that the enemy likes to bring harm to our lives and cause scar tissue to build up where the Lord has not intended that at all. That's right. Our God is sovereign. His ways are sovereign. His ways are higher than mm -hmm. our thoughts. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. That's right. He sees the whole he picture does. where so many times we only see a partial. And so when that enemy tries to come in and scar us in some way where we're not able to receive the hope that we are entitled to, yes. that is rightfully ours, yes. that our forerunner, the Lord Jesus Christ, has made a way for us to have. We have to say in the name of Jesus, get out yes, of here, Get Satan. out of here, liar. You are not, yes. not going to take away the hope that the Lord has for me. Amen. Because the Word of God in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15 says this, This is the confidence we have in approaching God. Mm. That if we ask anything according to His will, Come on. He hears Come on. us. Mm. First of all, the Lord's listening to us when we're praying. Yes, He is. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have asked it of Him. Yes. God answers our prayers. Yes. God answers our yes, prayers. Yes, He does. Hallelujah. If I just started tonight asking you, go ahead and start listing right here on our Facebook page the ways that God has answered prayers for you in your lifetime. Come on. We would basically shut down our whole Facebook page because it would be so overrun. I mean, if we're all honest and we no. just started typing over our lifetime of the ways that God has answered prayers for yes. us, it would so fill our Facebook page here at Celebration. It could just overwhelm it and shut it down. That's right. Because the, 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 the thing is, God does answer prayers. He does. He does. He does. Sometimes you got to step back and you got to say, God you got to get that notebook out, and you got to start looking back and start saying, what ha what prayers has he answered? Because mm -hmm. the Lord will sometimes say, come on, step back from the forest. Got to bring it to remembrance. Step back. Mm -hmm. I want you to start looking at the many times come you've on. prayed to me. And I've answered you right then and very specifically in the way that you prayed. Though sometimes I did it in a different way, there are times he literally will answer it just right then yes. and exactly how we yes. prayed. We can't forget these times. We've got to know That's that this right. God of hope, he wants to answer our prayers. Yes, he and does. he is the God who answers yes. prayers. Yes. So church tonight, I want you to know that all of these beautiful blessings of his hope, they are reliant on his strength. They are reliant on the power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, not on man. And this is the reason that God wants us to know that our hope, it's secure That's in right. Him. That's right, it's secure it's in secure Him. It's secure in Him. We can have confidence in this hope of the Lord. Even while we're here on this earth, even with everything that's, that's going right. on on this earth, we can still know I'm anchored yes. to the one who has my hope. And we've got to recognize that allowing His hope to flow in our lives is the power when we let His love flow the way He intends yes. for it to. It then is the power that activates our faith and this hope. His faith, I should say. His mm. hope. These two gifts that He's given to operate in our lives, just like are spoken of in 1 Corinthians 13. That should lift our hearts tonight. And we should be able to say to the Lord, Father God, teach me yes. how to walk more in your love. Mm. Teach me, Lord, how to walk more in your faith. Yes. Teach me how to walk more in yes. your hope. 
as your love is just nourishing and activating these gifts in my life. Hallelujah. And I pray that for all of us. Yes. I pray for my celebration family. Lord, Jesus, I'm believing you to take us to a new level of faith, mm. a new level of hope in you, knowing that you not only hear our prayers, yes. you answer our prayers. Yes. You are the God who protects, the God who provides, Hallelujah. the God who answers our prayers. And we love you, Father. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Amen. What a powerful word. Amen. You know, God promises us numerous. He promises us through the entire Bible. Amen. He speaks to us. And he shares his love and he shares his word. He declares his word to us. Um, it's amazing because in the book of Genesis it says that these, as long as time remains, there'll be seed, there'll be time, there'll be harvest. Amen. But he says he also gives seed to sow and seed to eat. Amen. He gives seed to sow and seed to seed eat. Seed to eat, yes. There's, there's the word of God first and foremost is the seed. Amen. It's the seed. It's the seed that God gives us. It's the oath. It's the promise. It's God spoke. Amen. And it is. Uh, as my wife was just sharing right there, the Lord told me to, to share this. Don't be anxious about anything. Amen, honey. Amen. Don't let anxiety Amen. overtake you. Be anxious for, for nothing. nothing. But in all things through prayer, yes. supplication, yes. and with all thanksgiving, Make your request known unto God, yes. and the peace of God that passes all understanding yes. will guard your hearts and your minds in, in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Don't be anxious. Amen. Amen. Don't be anxious. God didn't give you anxiousness. Amen. We, we can't give way Amen. to fear. Amen. Anxiety leads to fear. Yes. We can't give way to fear. We must realize if God's for us, who can be against us? Hallelujah. If God's for us, Amen. and everything good, pleasing, and perfect comes from the Father above. Amen. He, he, God's in my tomorrow. Amen. He's already there. Amen. God's in my right now. He's right here, right now. God's answering prayers. Amen. But the enemy wants us so focused on what's not happening that we think ought to be going on. Yeah, yeah. And the Lord wants us to know that He's got it. He's, got it. He's moving. Amen. Amen. He's moving. Amen. God gives Thank us you, the Jesus. seed of His Word. Yes. But God wants us to know we are also the seed of His Word. Amen. Go to Genesis chapter 17. Amen. I want to share Amen. several things with you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the, De in the book of Deuteronomy, it tells us that there's life and death in this thing. Yes. Life and death. Touch yourself right, right under your uh, bottom lip yep. and say, there's life and death. There's life and death. In this. In this. My tongue. My tongue. I must. I must. Choose. Choose. Life. Life. There's blessings. There's blessings. And there's curses. And there's curses. That's right. There's blessings. There's blessings. And there's curses. And there's curses. And this is the most unruly part of our body. Yes. Yeah. It is the most unruly part of our body. God spoke to the Apostle Paul. And, it, and the Apostle Paul said, why is it that I say what I shouldn't say and I don't say what I should say? He called this the most unruly part of our body. God spoke. Now listen here in the book of Genesis, chapter 17. And the, the Lord was just speaking to me today concerning this. When Abram, Abraham, before he accepted what God was saying, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, now I love this, God showed up. Amen. God showed up. As soon as the Lord took me here, and I've read, my goodness, I, I can't tell you how many times I've read the book of Genesis, how many times chapter 17. But the Lord spoke to me and he says, I'm the God that shows up. Hallelujah. I show up. Yes. But I show up when people believe. 
I show up when people will take me at my word. Amen. I show up even in unbelief Hallelujah. to prove to my people that I am who I say I am. Amen. It says, he showed up, he appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Amen. I am El Shaddai. Amen. I am God Almighty. Walk habitually before me. I'm reading from the Amplified. Amen. With integrity. God said walk habitually. Walk every moment of every day. Walk with me. Amen. Walk with him. Walk with me. Amen. In integrity. Knowing that you are always in my presence. Praise God. Always. When we choose to walk with him, we are always in God's presence. God says, I'll never leave you. Amen. I'll never Amen. forsake you. Amen. I'll be your ever-present help in your time of need. But he told Abram, he told Abram, walk with me. Yes. Walk with me in my in, in your integrity, knowing that you're always in my presence. Amen. God is in my He's in my presence right now. Yes. He's in my presence a minute from now, yes. a second from now. Yes. He's always with me. Yes. Yes. And be blameless. Be blameless and complete. Two different words. Be blameless. Blameless is our choice. Okay. Completeness is God's choice. Oh, yes, I see that. Blameless is my choice. I see that. I have to choose Amen. not to Amen. sin. Amen. I have to choose Amen. not to walk in unbelief. Amen. I have to choose to walk in the completeness of who God has called me to be. He told Abram, he said, walk habitually before me Amen. with integrity, knowing that you were always in my presence and be blameless and complete in obedience to me. Amen. When we're obedient to God, we will be blameless. Yes. We will be complete. Yes. We'll be blameless. We will be complete. Come down to uh, verse number two. Then God says, he tells Abram, this is what I want from you. And then he says, I will establish my covenant, everlasting promise between me and you. If you'll do this, Abram, yeah. I'll establish. Amen. I will fulfill what I am making an oath to you tonight. Amen. That's what he's saying right here. I'm making an oath to you, Abram. This is my promise. I will establish my covenant. Amen. Everlasting promise between me and you. Mm -hmm. Between me and you, he says. And I will multiply you exceedingly through your descendants. The King wow. James says, through your seed. Amen. He gives us seed to sow and seed to eat. He told Abram, through your inheritance, through your seed. He wasn't just talking about the natural seed. He was talking about a seed that was produced only by believing God. Amen. Only by believing God. Then Abram fell on his face in worship and God spoke with him saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you. Amen. Done. Amen. You fell before me. You worship me. I know your heart. My covenant. My covenant is with you. And as a result, you shall be the father of many nations. Amen. Amen. You shall be the father of many nations. Whew. No longer shall your name be Abram, exalted father, uh -huh. but your name shall be Abraham, Father of a multitude. Amen. You're not just going to be father exalted. Uh -uh. Exalted in the eyes of man. You're going to be a multitude of people. Amen. 
in Amen. man's eyes. Amen. Now, you can come on through and you can read all the way down through verse number 8. For time's sake, we're not going to do that. And he talks about that in verse 8, he says, I'm going to give you, give to you and your descendants your seed after you, the land in which you are standing, moving from place to place, all the land of Cana as an everlasting possession of property. And I will be their God. Mm -hmm. I will be their God. Amen. Further, verse 9, God said to Abram, as for you, your part of this agreement, your part of this covenant, you shall keep and faithfully obey the terms of my covenant. You're going to keep and you're going to faithfully obey what I have said. Amen. Let me just say this. You and your descendants after you throughout their generations. Now, this is God's covenant. Amen. You say, well, it's, it's an old covenant and then there's the new covenant, the new testament. Yeah, Jesus fulfilled the old covenant. He didn't abolish it. That's right. He fulfilled it. Amen. And he said, in my blood, this is a covenant. When he held up on the night of Passover, when he held up the cup and he said, this is a covenant, a new covenant in my blood. Amen. It's a new covenant. It's built upon better promises. Better promises. Because he paid the price. In him, he's paid the price. Amen. And he's given us also a new covenant. A covenant that we can keep. Amen. Oh, come on. Amen. Because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never yes, forsake you. you. I'm going to come and I'm going to take up residence Hallelujah. inside of you. <laughs> Before, it was hard to keep the covenant of God. Man, on his best day, couldn't keep it. So true. But now, because of Jesus living in us, yes. behold, I've made you a new creation. Yes. Old things have passed away and everything's become new. Amen. I'm a new creation in yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. I'm not who I used to be. Amen. You're not who you used to be if Christ Jesus is your Savior and Lord. Amen. But we still must obey. Amen. We must obey what He has spoken to us. Keeping His covenant. Keeping relationship. Keeping it. And He said, I'll remember my covenant to your seed. He's given us the seed of his word. He said, I'm going to keep my part to your seed, your natural seed, Amen. your spiritual seed. Amen. But he says, your part is to obey and keep my seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. I wish I could hear amens out there. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Baby, you, I tell you what, you amen all the time. Thank amen. you. Amen. Now, I want you to turn to the book of Romans. Book of Romans. Because, guess what? They're just days that you and I do not feel. Sherry said amen. Laura said amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. There are days that you and I just feel like, because of the schemes of the enemy, we just feel like, is God there? God! Even though we've spent time with Him. But then God shows Himself. Yes, yes. He makes Himself known. Yes, that's he speaks true. to us. Yes. Speaks to us in ways that we aren't even expecting God to speak to us. Very true. Very I want true. you to look here at the book of Romans. Because... And for those of you that have been under our ministry for a while, you know where I'm taking you. Because I've got to show you the importance of the seed of God's word, the promise of God, and us being the seed of God. Okay. Here in the book of Romans, the fourth chapter, 13th verse. For the promise to Abraham, that's what we just read, for the promise to Abraham or to his descendants that he would be heir of the world was not through observing the requirements of the law because that was before the law. But through
through the righteousness of faith. And that's Genesis 17, 4 through 6. Genesis 22, 16 through 18. If those who are followers of the law are the true heirs of Abraham, then faith leading to salvation isn't of, of, of any effect. God, his plan was coming. God's plan to be their God and to be their Savior, their Yeshua HaMashiach. Yeah. Israel is still the seed of Abraham. But I want you to look at something. It's not through keeping the law. It's by faith. It's Amen. trusting and relying on Jesus Christ our salvation. Amen. Jesus is the word that became flesh yes. and dwelt among us. Yes. The power of the Holy Ghost spoke through 66 books. Yes. He is alive. Amen. Look, he comes and he says, For the law, it results in God's wrath against sin. But where there is no law, there is no violation of it either. Therefore, inheriting the promises, the promise depends entirely on faith. That is confident trust in the unseen God. Confidently trusting Amen. in Him. Amen. There are things that all of us have been praying about. Yes. There are things we've been believing God for. Yes. And let me tell you, there are things that my wife and I have been standing on the Word of God, believing God to do, and God just, He miraculously reveals Himself. Amen. He shows up, and there's no way any man ever did it. Yeah. It's God that does it. Amen. And Amen. He shows up, and He does it, and we stand back, and we just go, Lord, I'm amazed by You. Lord, I'm amazed by You. Lord, I'm amazed by You. How You love me. I just stand amazed. Amen. Amen. He showed up to Abram. He revealed Himself. Amen. And God's revealing Himself. But we, we He reveals Himself in faith. He reveals himself so that we will believe. Yes. Jesus said, I've given everyone a measure of faith. Yes. Yes. It's, it's his gift. It's Jesus' gift. It is his Everybody gift. Everybody on this planet yes. has the measure of faith yes. that it takes to be saved. Absolutely. Everybody Absolutely. on this planet. Amen. It's what they do yes. with that measure of faith. Now, we know Peter said, Lord, increase our faith. Amen. Amen. Increase our faith. Faith Amen. comes by hearing. Yes. And hearing by the word, word the seed. Word of God. The seed that God's given. The Amen. word of God. We have to let the seed yes. produce in our lives. Yes. Let it do what God's wanting it to do. But I gave up trying to read the Bible in a year. <laughs> I stopped. How many times I've tried to start and go, okay, I'm going to read the Bible in a whole year. And there is a reading plan <coughs> if you're able to do it. But and there is. I'm assuming what happens to you is the same thing that happens to me. You get in a place and the Lord just say, hover right here for a while. i got some stuff I want to show you. <laughs> and there's, there's scriptures yeah. that I've been hovering and, and living in Literally for years. Oh, absolutely. And, and just eating it and letting God do what he wants to do. Amen. God, it's up to him. He says, I'll give you this day your daily bread. Yeah, That's yeah. not just natural food. Yeah. I'll give you this day spiritually my word yes. for what you need. Yes. I'll give it to you. Yes. I'll give you each yes. day what you have need of. I'll take care of you. That's part of the covenant. Now I want you to look at this real quick, and then I'm going to jump to some other scriptures. As it's written in the scripture, I made you a father of many nations in the sight of him in whom he believed 
that God who gives life to the dead and calls into being that which does not exist. The man's 99 years old and he's just told him, your name from now on is father of a multitude. Amen. God, I, I love the way the King James puts it. God spoke it and he told Abraham to believe it. And in believing it, Abraham started speaking it. Yes. Declaring yes. life and death in the power of the tongue. Amen. He started declaring himself father of nations. Yes. Started speaking over his wife, mother of nations. Amen. He started declaring this. Yes. Yes. We are the seed of Abraham. Yes. We have been grafted in. Turn with me, if you will, to Ephesians chapter number 2. Amen. Listen here. Ephesians 2, verse 11. Because I want to tell you what. In this time that we're living in, God's ready to, out of the abundance of our mouths, we will see life and death in the very things that we say. Amen. We can bless something or we can curse it. And God's saying, our tongues are powerful. Amen. God is saying, let your tongue be ever in the faith and integrity of what I have said. Amen. Therefore, members, that in uh, chapter number 2 of Ephesians, verse number 11, Therefore, remember that as one time Gentiles by birth, who are called uncircumcised by those who call themselves circumcision, itself a mere mark which is made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that at that time you were separated from Christ, excluded from any relationship with him, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenant of the promise. Amen. Strangers to the oath, the promise that God had made Amen. to Israel with no share in the sacred Messiah. We didn't have a part in Messiah. We did not have a part. But look at this. Promise of in the uh, sacred mess messianic promise and without knowledge of God's agreements, having no hope mm -hmm. in his mm -hmm. promise and living in the world without God. We're wow. living in a world that is hopeless. Yes. Yes, that is They're true. hopeless. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this, 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 this. Oh, we got to do this. If we do this, we'll save Mother Earth. Oh, God, if we do this, this, yeah. this. Oh, 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 oh. They're running aimlessly. Yeah. They have no hope. Very true. There's no hope. But now. Yes. Say, but now. But now. At this very moment. At this very moment. <laughs> in Christ, Jesus you who were once so very far away from God have been brought near by the blood of Woo! Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For he himself is our peace. Yes. Yes, he is. And our bond of unity. Yeah. He who made both groups, Jews and Gentiles, yes. into one body yes. and broke down the barrier, the dividing yes. wall yes. of spiritual antagonism between us. Quit being nitpicky. Yes. We he broke down the antagonism. Another. Walk in the bond of unity. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now we go over to Galatians. Amen. Go to Galatians chapter number three. We're going somewhere. Hang on. Amen. And we're going somewhere. Galatians 3 because it's all about the power. The word of God has to speak life through us. Yes. The word of God has to speak life yes. through us. Amen. In Galatians chapter number 3. Galatians 3 verse 25. Okay. But now that faith has come. Amen. We're no longer under the control and the authority of a tutor and disciplinarian. For you who were born again have been reborn from above, mm -hmm. spiritually transformed, renewed, sanctified, and are all children of God set apart for His purpose yes. with full rights and yes. privileges through faith Hallelujah. in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Whoa. 
We are children of God. Yes. We are heirs. Yes. We're heirs of the creator of the universe. Yes. We're heirs. Grab a hold of that for a second. We're heirs. Yes. Our Father owns the universe. Our Father put all these billions upon billions upon billions of stars and planets mm. in this universe, and He holds it in the palm of His hand. And us right there. And we are there with Him. Amen. Amen. He loves us so much. When we were fatherless because we separated ourselves from the Father, He, through the blood of Christ Jesus, brought us back, welcomed us home, and made us once again children but heirs of God. Amen. Therefore, there is now no distinction in regard to salvation. Neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither slave nor free, there's neither male nor female. For you who believe, whoa, God himself torn down the male and female divisiveness in uh -huh. the world. God himself, Amen. there's neither male nor female Amen. in his sight. We are all one in Christ Jesus. No one can claim a spiritual superiority. Mm. Romans 3 and 22, 1 Corinthians 12 and 13. And if you belong to Christ, if you belong to Christ, mm -hmm. if you intimately yes. know him, yes. if you obey and live in his word, yeah. and if you belong to Christ, if you are in him, yes. in him, yes. Then you are Abraham's descendants, your Abraham's That's seed, right. and spiritual heirs yes. according to God's promises. Yes. Now look here. I want you to go to Corinthians. Second Corinthians, I'm closing on this last scripture. All right, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter number one. Amen. <clears throat> beginning in verse number nineteen. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, Silas, and Timothy, was not yes and no. It wasn't yes and no. But has proved to be yes. In him, true and faithful he is. The, div the divine yes of everything. Amen. Affirming God's promises. Yes. For as many as are the promises of God in Christ Jesus, yes. they are all answered yes. Amen. So through him we say our amen, amen <laughs> to the glory of God. Yes. All God's promises are yes. yes. He said yes. Amen. He said yes. We cannot get lost in our understanding of time. Mm. That's true. That's true, honey. Abraham was 99. That's true. Yes. Abraham was 99 yes. years old. Yes. And God revealed himself to him. Amen. But Abraham was willing to believe God. Amen. What's going to happen on this earth? That's one man. One man willing to believe God. And God fulfilled his promise. And sitting here tonight yes. are children of the living God. Amen. The Fulfillment, not that it's finished, but you and I are the fulfillment of God's promise. Amen. We are nations. There, 
The divisiveness of nations in the world isn't God. No. <laughs> There's neither Jew or Gentile. If you're not a Jew, you're, you're a Gentile. It doesn't matter where you're from, your heritage, where it's from. There's neither Jew nor Gentile. Everybody's one. He came to seek and to save all. All. He came to seek all yeah. who are lost. Amen. God is moving. Amen. And he's saying, go in my word. Before you go in my word, call to me. Amen. Call to me and say, Lord, show yourself to me. Amen. He will. And he'll show he himself. He will. Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call unto me, and I will show, show you, you great, great and, and mighty, mighty things, things you know. that you don't know. Amen. That you don't know. It's treasures and treasures and treasures and treasures in the Word of God. Yes, it is. Now, I'm telling you, <clears throat> it's just full of treasures. We want to encourage you. We want to encourage you as you speak God's Word. As you call things that... Now, we'll see what God does is he takes his word mm -hmm. and he speaks it to you. When my wife and I both were saying that we, we've landed on God's word, and man, God just... I mean, she's been, she's been on love now for quite a while. Yeah. And God's working things and speaking to her and revealing things. God does that to me in different places. And I'll get there and God, will, he's working it and showing and, and revealing himself. And then he asks me, do you believe this? Amen. And when I believe it, I start speaking it in faith. Amen. I start proclaiming it in faith because God is. We've been believing God to do something that only God could do. Amen. We've been believing God to destroy this thing called COVID. Amen. And I want to tell you what, God's moving. Yes. And it seems as if it's been overnight, God has caused this thing to literally fall off the cliff and into eternity. We're just, we're and we're just believing this thing's gone. Yes. yes. And we've been praying yes. and believing this since last year. Yes. But you know what? God's time, because God's been doing in me, God's been doing in my wife, God's you. been doing in you, Amen. everything that he's wanting to do, he's been revealing himself, no speaking to us. No God. time's wasted in the Lord. Mm -mm. Now, you may be out there tonight, and you may be saying, Pastor, I don't know that I've had a, I have a relationship with this God. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I've ever really received Jesus as my Messiah. I grew up in church. <laughs> Little 10-minute sermonettes each week. I grew up hearing the stories of the Bible but I didn't have a relationship with him. This Friday will be my spiritual birthday. This Friday, 37 years ago, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he revealed himself to me. He showed up and he met with me. Amen. When I chose to believe, when I chose and said, God, I can't do this. Because I had tried quitting drugs. I had tried quitting alcohol. I had tried living that life. Mm -hmm. But Jesus, the moment I surrendered and said, I need you. Amen. He came into my life. Amen. And he broke the bondages. Yes. He broke and took the sin from my life. Amen. And I became a new, a new creation. Amen. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's the only way to the Father. There's no other way. Amen. He said he died on the cross. He came and he took our sins, the sin of the world, to all who will believe. Yes. He took our sin on the cross. He took the punishment 
that you and I deserved. Isaiah 53 says, He was wounded for our transgressions. Amen. He was crushed for our iniquities, our sins. Yes. The chastisement that brings us peace, shalom, brings us wholeness, yes. is upon Him. And by His stripes, yes. we are healed. That's not just spiritually. That's also for natural. Amen. He gave his life for you and me. He was buried in a tomb. And on the third day, he fulfilled the promise of God. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled prophecy. The sign of Jonah. Jonah was in the belly of the whale for three days. Yes. And he came back to life. Amen. Jesus did. Amen. He says, if we'll confess with our mouths that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we'll be born again. Amen. So right now, I want you to pray with me if that's you. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I know you're the Son of God. I know you're the Son of God. And right now, Jesus. And right now, Jesus. I ask you. I ask you. To come into my heart. To come into my heart. To forgive me of my sins. To forgive me of my sins. I know you took my punishment. I know you took my upon punishment. Upon yourself. Upon yourself. Yourself. And right now, and right now, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I know you were buried. I know you were buried, and you rose from the dead. And you rose from the in dead in new life. In new life. And right now, Lord Jesus. And right now, Lord Jesus. I choose. I choose that I that I will live that will live in your new life. In your new life. And from this day forward. And from this day forward. My sins are forgiven. My sins are forgiven. You've taken my punishment. You've taken my punishment. And I'm a new creature. And I'm a new creature. In you. In you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. The faith here, you really share a lot on faith yes. tonight. Amen. That gift that goes right there with it hope. Does. And I'm just so excited for those who ask the Lord into their hearts tonight. Yes. The Lord has a beautiful journey for you and he a does. beautiful spiritual life for you. And we just welcome you. We welcome Amen. you into the family of God. We want to get a Bible to you. Yes. I know my husband was talking about reading the Bible through. There is a plan that you, you are can. able to read the Bible through. And you know what? You could do that on the site if you just want to go by right. that plan. But obviously, like whenever you start getting into this word, truly, He's there's so many treasures in there that sometimes that's hard to do yeah. unless you're just doing it separately. You're doing the two things right. separately. But we want to get a Bible to you because yes. it is a treasure for you. Amen. It's his love letter to you. Yes, it it's is. what's going to help your faith to grow, your hope to grow, and just the things that you're needing in your spiritual walk. We want you to get involved in our discipleship classes that are offered right here in yes. celebration By, uh, through Larry and Christina mm -hmm. Foy. We we want you to be a part of all the classes that we offer here on our Facebook page. And we just are excited. We rejoice that you have received the Lord. Yes, we do. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to uh, pray over our tithes and offerings awesome, right Lord. now. Amen. It's a way that we also live in covenant with God. Uh, he told us, he said, bring the bring the first tenth to me. It belongs to me. Amen. And so that there we meet in my house. Amen. And that's what we do. Uh, you pay your tithe and you give offerings unto the Lord. Amen. And that's what we're going to do right now. Amen. We're and while we're doing that, while we're praying, uh, I thought I had seen earlier a prayer request from Brianna. I'm not positive, but... I do, uh, I do remember that. And we want to pray yes. for that. I tried to go back and find it, and I couldn't, but okay, I uh, thought I briefly saw... What I briefly saw, it was something for a friend, okay. and I think that friend is battling cancer. We want to lift them yes. up as well as we're praying over the yes. ties and offering. We'll start there. And just, Father, right Father now, God, we lift up this friend, friend of Brianna's, Brianna's to you. Friend that Father has God, cancer. we thank you, In Lord Jesus. You yes. have taken every sickness and every disease, yes. and we speak life to her mortal body. Yes, God. We declare, Lord Jesus, first and foremost, we pray, Lord, that she knows you Amen. as her Savior. Amen. She knows you and is in relationship with you. Yes, God. Father, we pray right now, Lord Jesus, that by your stripes, this friend is healed. Yes. Cancer, you are cursed 
at the very root. Amen. And you must be gone from yes. this friend's body. Yes. We thank you for healing, Lord. Yes. We thank you. We know of people that have been healed of pancreatic cancer. Amen. We know others that have been healed yes. of various uh, cancers. Yes. But Lord Jesus, your name is above every, every name that can be named. Yes. And at the name of Brother Jesus, Anna, 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 every Anna, name Anna. that can be named must bow a knee. Yes. And must confess that Jesus Christ yes. is Lord to yes. the glory of the God the of Father. Yes. So Lord, we thank you right now. Healing to her body. Amen. We pray total restoration yes. in every area of life yes. in, the in the mighty name of Jesus. And we stand and we will declare this until it's it's manifested in its fullness. Amen. Amen. And we look for that great testimony of yes, it, Lord, God. in the name of Your Jesus. Holy name. Thank you, so, Lord. Father, right now as we bring our tithes Eyes and offerings, offerings to Father. you, yes. Lord Jesus, we thank you. You've broken the curse of the law yes. of sin and death. You've called us back into relationship with the Father. Amen. And we can cry, Abba, Father. Yes. We thank you that we are joint heirs with you in, in your, your inheritance. inheritance. Amen. And Lord Jesus, we know that gathered around your throne right now, there are men, women, and children yes. from every tongue, every nation, every tribe, and every kindred. Amen. And they're worshiping you in spirit, spirit and, truth. and truth. And if that's what heaven looks and sounds like, that's what you want the church yes. here on earth to look and sound like. Yes. And we declare over Celebration Hallelujah. Family Worship yes. Center, the doors of celebration are thrown open wide. The nations can gather at celebration. Amen. Men, women, and children that want to grow, uh, grow in the things of the kingdom of God. Yes. Men, women, and children that take you at your word. Hallelujah. And Father God, we thank you that we'll grow together. Yes. And Father God, we will declare your greatness to yes. a world that has yet to come to your salvation, Amen. Lord Jesus. Amen. And we're believing for a third great Hallelujah. awakening in our nation. Yes. We're yes. believing for that great outpouring, Hallelujah. Lord. We need it in our land. Yes, Only God. you can bring the healing that must take place in this world. Yes. It is not in man's hands. No. It's not in woman's hands. No. It's in the hands of Almighty God. Yes. So move by the power of your spirit. Yes. And we thank you for souls coming to your Hallelujah. kingdom. Hallelujah. Yes. We pray for those in Washington. Yes. We pray we for President, president vice, president, vice president, the president, the Congress, the cabinet, the Supreme Court. All of we pray for all those in state government, government. We pray for this all those in God. local authorities. We pray Real. for them and their households. Be born Together again. Families, be Lord. baptized Jesus. in the Holy Ghost. Do the Word of God be a lamp God. unto their feet, a light unto their path. And Show together may we all rooms, walk a highway Lord. of holiness. Yes. Show Thank up in their dreams tonight, yes. Lord. God Almighty. Just Thank as you, you revealed yourself to Abraham, we pray you walk into bedrooms oh, yes, tonight. Father God. We pray you walk into places and you make yourself known even at this very moment, Lord. Yes. <coughs> yes. We take you at your word. Amen. We in celebration. We don't want to just hear it. We choose that we're going to act upon your word. Amen. Amen. We're going to reap the harvest of it. Amen. Right now we're paying our tithes and giving our offerings. Amen. And we give and it's given. Good measure, measure press down, down shaken, shaken together, down. running over, men and women pour back into our bosom Amen. so that we can give again. Yes. And Lord, we declare also in this giving that in every area of life, yes. whatever we have need of, we give it. Yes. And Father God, we thank you it comes back in return. Yes. And Lord Jesus, we pray souls, 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 souls to your souls. kingdom. Yes. We declare us and our households born again. Yes. We thank you. Yokes are lifted. Burdens are removed. Yes. Bodies are healed. People are set free. Yes. And Lord Jesus, we call souls, souls, souls soul, soul, to soul, your souls. kingdom. Amen. In Jesus' in name. name. Jesus. Amen. And Father, again, for those that just need that hope of the Lord yes. just to just be filled in their lives, I thank you, God, thank as you, hearts are just opening up, receiving mm. that, along with faith. Yes. <laughs> Father, how beautiful thank these you, came Lord. together. Thank you, Lord. That deposits, yes, fresh deposits Hallelujah. of faith and hope yes. are being put.
put in the lives of your children yes, Lord. even this night. Yes. And we thank you for it, God. Mm. And we thank you for the fruit yes. that's going to be produced for them. We give you glory and yes, honor. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' In Jesus' name. mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hey, Donya. Hey, hey, Alvin. Donya, Alvin. God, God bless, bless you. you. Hey, girls. The girls. Hallelujah. So good to see y'all. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, we're just going to close <clears throat> tonight and pray a blessing of Psalm 91. Yes, and then we'll pronounce blessings and over Pronounce Israel. the blessings of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for uh, just blessing. Yes, for doing phenomenal things. Wonderful. And the answers to prayers. Amen. What you're showing yourself so real, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we've just been praying this as a prayer the whole Psalm 91, and we continue to do that tonight as His bloodline is around our yes. homes, our places yes. of employment, His around our town, our us. county, our yes. state, our country. In thank the name you, Lord. of Jesus, our world, we yes. thank you, Lord, that when we sit enthroned uh, under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. Yes. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my Great, Great confidence. Mm. He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy. <coughs> he will protect you yes. from false accusation and any deadly curse. His massive arms are wrapped around you, protecting you. You can run under his covering of majesty and hide. His arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you yes. from the harm. Hallelujah. You will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing, yes. whether by night or by day. Demonic danger will not trouble yes. you, nor mm. will the powers of evil be launched against you. Even in a time of disaster, yes. with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain unscathed, unharmed. You will be a spectator yes. as the wicked perish in judgment, for they'll be paid back for what they've done. But... When we live our lives Ooh, within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, yes. he, we will always be shielded from harm. Mm. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? God sends angels yes. with special orders to protect you wherever you go, yes. defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, <coughs> they'll be there for you and keep you from stumbling. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, trampling every one of them beneath your feet. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me. Because you have delighted in me as my great lover, I will greatly protect you. I will set you in a high place, Thank safe you, and secure before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time you pray. And you will find and feel my presence, <coughs> even in your time of pressure and trouble. Yes, I will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. You will be satisfied with a full life and with all that I do for you, for you, for you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We Thank pray. Thank you, Lord. The blessings of the bless Lord. May the Lord bless Lord. you. May the Lord keep you. May Hallelujah. the Lord make his face to shine upon you, yes. lift up his countenance upon you, and give you peace yes. both now and forever. forever. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. Everything yes. you put your hands to is blessed. blessed. Your barns are blessed. Your fields are blessed. Your kneading boards are blessed. Amen. The fruit of your womb is blessed. Blessed. You're blessed when you rise, rise up. up. You're blessed when you lie down. Amen. You are the head. You are not the tail. Amen. You are on top and you are not on the bottom. That's you right. are the redeemed, redeemed of the Lord. Lord. And the redeemed of the Lord shouted, Amen! Amen. Hallelujah! We Amen. love you! you Thank you, God. Lord! Hallelujah! Jesus. Our great God, our God. salvation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, Deidre, David, Sarai. We love y'all. So good to see y'all, too. Good to see everybody. God Blessing. Bless you. Bless you, Supposed baby. to be warmer tomorrow than it even was today. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Love you, Kira. Spring's in the air. Spring is definitely in the air. Have a beautiful evening. We love you, yes, Celebration be, family. Yes, be blessed, Celebration. We're going to be together real soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.